Hello everyone, this is Michael with Christopher Street Tours, and on today's episode of Queer History, we'll be talking about the history of the Oscar Wilde Memorial Bookshop, or the first LGBTQ bookshop in the country. The bookshop was first opened in 1967 by a man named Craig Rodwell. Craig also happened to be a part of the very first national gay rights organization, the Mattachine Society. Because of Craig's involvement in the organization, the bookshop functioned as a bookshop, but also as a community organizing space. The name of the bookshop comes from the well-known playwright and poet Oscar Wilde. In explaining why he chose the name, Craig Rodwell says, I wanted a name that would tell people what the shop was about, so I tried to think of the most prominent person whose name I could use who is most readily identifiable as a homosexual by most people, and Oscar Wilde was the most obvious at the time. Oscar Wilde was a popular figure in late Victorian England, however, is also known today in the LGBTQ community for leading the way, especially with his flamboyant fashion. He was also arrested in 1895 for gross indecency, which, at the time, was just another way to say, arrested for being gay. Some of his best-known literary works include The Picture of Dorian Gray and The Importance of Being Earnest. In opening the Oscar Wilde Memorial Bookshop, Craig Rodwell wanted to make a home for the Mattachine Society, increasing the visibility to LGBTQ folks, but also to society in general. However, when Craig opened the first location on Mercer Street, he did not consider himself to be a bookseller. He was only 26 at the time and wanted to change the world's view of gay people. He also wanted to help change gay people's own self-image. The public presence was essential to the vision of the shop, with slogans like gay power and gay is good in the front window. It was also the first time that books in a public shop were organized with the category of gay culture. When the shop first opened, there was a relatively limited selection of books. However, it was the first time that literature by gay and lesbian authors was located in one central place. The shop also stocked materials that focused on gay and lesbian topics in a positive manner, which was rare at the time. Craig also treated the bookshop as a community center, often posting important announcements, events, and activities for the community. He called the Oscar Wilde Bookshop a bookshop of the homophile movement, or as we know it today, the queer liberation movement. In addition to selling books and creating an organizing space, Craig Rodwell also created an organization called HIM, H-Y-M-N, or the Homophile Youth Movement in Neighborhoods. Through this group, Craig would often counsel LGBTQ youth in New York City, trying to set a positive example for them. In his own words, Craig wanted them to gain a sense of pride and dignity as young homosexuals. In 1968, the bookshop began publishing a monthly newsletter called The Hymnal. In 1970, soon after the Stonewall Uprising occurred in 1969, the Oscar Wilde Memorial Bookshop held the very first organizing meetings for the first Pride Parade in New York City. Then, it was known as the Christopher Street Liberation Day. Craig eventually opened a second location of the bookshop in 1973 on Christopher Street, just a few blocks away from the famous Stonewall Inn. The bookshop continued to thrive in the community for several decades, up until March of 2009, when unfortunately it was closed. This was due to the Great Recession in America, but also an extreme competition of online booksellers and the rise of e-readers. Unfortunately, this was a trend across the country, with other LGBT bookshops closing around the same time. Today, the only official LGBT bookshop in New York City is the Bureau of General Services Queer Division, which opened in 2012. The shop currently resides at the LGBT Community Center in New York City on West 13th Street. To find an LGBT bookshop near you, you can visit lambdaliterary.org backslash resources backslash bookstores. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Queer History with Christopher Street Tours. Be sure to subscribe below and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Christopher Street Tours for more queer history. Until next time. Christopher Street Tours is an LGBTQ-owned organization. Our mission is to make LGBTQ history accessible and engaging, sharing stories and uplifting voices from those who paved the way before us. For more information and resources, please visit ChristopherStreetTours.com.